it's Whitney from EcoVeganGal.com and welcome to another healthy and sustainable weekly roundup. In case you've been living under a rock or you're not vegan, the Vita Vegan Con happened this weekend in Portland, Oregon. Unfortunately, I couldn't go because, well, with my freelance lifestyle, sometimes I just can't afford those luxuries. However, I was able to enjoy the conference as much as possible via Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, get on it right now and then follow me and send me a message and ask me to follow you because Twitter is life changing. By the way, did you know that the co-founder of Twitter is vegan? I've interviewed him, you should check that out. Anyways, Twitter has allowed me to meet people around the world and this weekend I was able to enjoy the Vita Vegan Con completely virtually. People were just tweeting non-stop. There were about 250 attendees and most of them were on Twitter. So you can imagine just the flood of stream. If you want to check it out, go to hashtag VitaVeganCon. If you haven't yet, you should check out all the coverage I did at EcoVeganGal.com. All the things that I was able to experience completely virtually. There was so much amazing information. There were video interviews. There are all these new people on Twitter to follow. There are incredible blog posts, beautiful pictures pictures, just so much information about what's going on in the vegan world. If you're interested in becoming a vegan, this is a perfect opportunity to learn more about it, be exposed to all the different types of people that are embracing the lifestyle. I'm really, really, really excited to tell you about the restaurant of the week. It's called Seed Bistro in Los Angeles and it opens up August 29th. Um, I haven't been there yet, of course, and unfortunately I won't be able to go to the grand opening. However, I can tell you for sure that the food is going to be incredible because it's made by Chef Eric Le Chacheur, who is the chef behind Seed Kitchen in Venice, my old stomping ground. I've probably have been to Seed Kitchen more than any other vegan restaurant because it's fantastic, organic, healthy food and they can accommodate pretty much any diet, including the gluten-free one. Eric can do so much more than he's been doing at Seed Kitchen. It's been his dream to open up a bistro and he's finally making that happen. It's a high-end, gourmet, macrobiotic restaurant in the financial district of West LA. It's about time something like this opens. I, I just, I'm so excited for him. <laughs> Can't even tell you, I will definitely be checking it out. It's number one on my list of restaurants to visit when I head back to Los Angeles. And it should be number one on yours if you live in Los Angeles. Go to the grand opening. The book of the week is one that I should have told you about a really long time ago. It is called The Perfect Formula Diet. This book has given me so much information because it sums up over a thousand studies on why the plant-based diet is great for our health and the environment. This is the book that people are looking for. In all these conversations that I have about veganism, people always want the facts. And I, sometimes I just don't know them. So you can go through this book and just see fact after fact and study after study. It's really hard for somebody to argue with you when, the, when people all over the world have been proven these things. Vegan food of the week is rush bowls. These are frozen fruit bowls that come with granola on top of them, like this. They are not entirely a vegan company, um, but they do make vegan options made from things like coconut milk, and they also have gluten-free options. This one is their gluten-free bowl. Unfortunately, the um, topping, which is not granola, has honey in it, so what you could do is just eat the frozen fruit inside. They're packed with nutrition. They're great for when you're on the go. They don't have any preservative, artificial flavors, artificial colors, artificial anything. They're, a lot of their ingredients are organic. They don't use any refined sugars. These would be ideal for a snack or a breakfast when you're in a rush. Health tip of the week is to use a neti pot. A neti pot is a ceramic pot that you pour water and saline solution or salt into and then actually irrigate your nose. So put it in one nostril and put it out the other. I've been using the neti pot for years and this is the only thing that has helped me with my allergies. I used to have awful allergies. I went to all these specialists. I took all these drugs. None of the over-the-counter medicine was working and I was miserable until somebody suggested I try the neti pot. After using the neti pot every morning and every night for the past couple years, my allergies are almost completely gone because I'm just getting rid of all that junk that's getting stuck in my head. Now this might not work for every type of allergy, but it makes a huge difference and it's really soothing even when you have a cold. The eco tip of the week is in reference to a recent dog video that I did over at Eco Vegan Dog, and it's to use biodegradable bags for your companion. 
So if you have a dog, don't use plastic bags to pick up their waste. It takes hundreds of years for those to biodegrade. The waste cannot decompose naturally inside them, and they just end up in landfills taking up space. The video explains a lot more, but I highly recommend it. If you don't have a dog in your life, you should tell your friends and family about this. Website of the week goes to Diet Desserts and Dogs. This is one of my favorite websites right now because it's all about really healthy, unrefined, sugar-free recipes. Um, and there's a ton of anti-candida recipes on there. There are a ton of recipes with stevia in them, for example. So you can really eat a very clean diet and not feel guilty about any of these recipes. Plus, it's just got a really fun vibe and the author seems really sweet. Shout out of the week goes to somebody that I met through Vita Vegan Con. She has a website called JL Goes Vegan. She was tweeting more than anyone else at Vita Vegan Con. She had so much information that she was just trying to share out with the world and I just fell in love with her. So I am one of her biggest fans right now and I think that you should be too. Video of the week is The Inventor on Vimeo, which was made by my friends Vanessa Todd and Alex following an inventor in Las Vegas. This guy is brilliant and coming up with all of these ideas that could change the world and they've been following him around with cameras to document it all. This video is just chilling and really exciting and I would love you to watch it and also to follow what this group of people is doing right now to change the world. Secondary video of the week is just a quick little one from Vita Vegan Con. It's my friend Robert Cheek dancing on the dance floor at their big gala evening that they had and it's absolutely hilarious. Robert is a vegan bodybuilder. He's written a book and he's he's just an inspirational person all around. So check out the video and then check out his website, veganbodybuilding.com. You've probably seen him on my website. We've done a bunch of projects together and we have even more coming up. The answer of the week goes to the question, do I use toilet paper? That sounds like a funny question, but actually some environmentalists don't use toilet paper. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to that point quite yet. I still use toilet paper. My favorite kind is natural value because it comes in a paper wrapping instead of plastic and it's 100% recycled. It's not as soft as all the other brand name toilet papers out there, but I could really care less. I actually really use a very small amount of toilet paper to begin with, so this ends up lasting a long time. I would recommend that you use a similar product, if not that one, and also use less. Some people like pull off the toilet paper and like have this huge chunk when they really don't need it. So be more conservative with your toilet paper usage. Question of the week is about Vita Vegan Con. Whether you were an attendee or you were virtually attending like I was, tell me, what was the most exciting thing that you saw or read about at the conference or the coolest person that you met? And just try to limit it to one thing as usual. Speaking of questions, you should check out my latest You Tell Me video on YouTube. I ask you to tell me how to be vegetarian or vegan. I love video responses and not enough people are doing them, so go hop on board with that. Um, but if you're camera shy or can't do it, just go and leave a comment and tell me what is your one piece of advice on, some, on how somebody can become vegetarian or vegan. My favorite response of the week was to last week's question, which is what is your favorite cookbook? I got a lot of great responses Responses. And some of the books that people recommended was the famous Veganomicon, Live Raw, Peas and Thank You, and Cooking the Whole Foods Way. All of these books look fantastic, so go check them out. Maybe you'll want to get them as well. And last but not least, I have another giveaway for you. You may have seen on one of my past weekly roundups, I talked about a company called Two Degrees Food Bars. For every bar that you buy, a nutrition pack is donated to a starving child in another country. Well, this week you can try them out. One lucky winner will get a sample pack, three bars of each flavor, a t-shirt, and three nutrition packs will be donated to starving children in your name. All you have to do is make sure that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, subscribing on YouTube, and follow Two Degrees on Facebook and Twitter as well. And lastly, leave a comment here on YouTube or ecoveganegal.com telling me what you think about Two Degrees and what they're doing to help other people in the world. Well, that is it for this week's roundup, but you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter to see what's going on in the health and sustainability world. I'm updating those all the time. Of course, visit ecovegangal.com. I would love you to subscribe to this channel on 
on YouTube so you're the first to know when I, when I have a new video. I've got a new one every single day with recipes, restaurant reviews, product reviews, interviews, dog videos, on and on and on. So much going on. Of course, you can leave me a comment. I always love to help you out. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.